Evening, and we continue our uh, anti post looks at the novice hurdles. Move on to Friday and the triumph hurdle, won last year by Quilixios. And we'll kick off here with Ian. Right, I'm, <laughs> I'm torn. I backed Field Door at a, quite a good price at 11 to 1 when it was, um, it won about two or three in a row. And then I saw Pope Piper. And what happened at Cheltenham. And then at the W Race Festival, what Vauban did, despite jumping dreadfully, and it's turn of foot, beat Phil Dorr. So I don't know what to think, to be honest, but it's uh, it's blown what I thought was going to be straightforward. It's blown the, the triumph hurdle completely wide open. So to be honest with you, I've stuck you on a I've put you in a bit of a position there because I was meant to go to John to begin with, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so John, right. Right. let's forget anything that Ian just said. Let's let's go with John and then Ian will come back to you when, okay. when, okay. The, when the maestro has had his say. <laughs> I'm second. Sorry about that, John. Go on, John. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was already there, raring to go as well. <laughs> yeah. Um again, it's another tricky race. Um, and you're a bit unsure what's coming here especially further down the betting. Anyway, um, there'll be some that will be, you know, wanting to chance their arm in, the, in here and some in the boodles, but there's not much to split really between the top two. Um, Pipe Pipe has already been over and won, hasn't he, a few, uh, few weeks ago? And he was very impressive as well, although I'm not sure what he's beaten there. Uh, Vauban did it well at the Dublin Racing Festival, but uh, as Ian did mention, he's a little bit quirky with his jump into the right and, I think he had a tongue tie fitted as well on his second race, which isn't like normally a good sign. But he did have a good turn of foot and he did win well, so it brought him right into the mix. Um, but uh, the one from, um, well, going back to the ones over here, Porticello seems to be the main fancy of those here. But I just think the Irish are a stone better than the, the UK horses, to be honest. Um, and they, they tend to be quite often, you know, you see some over here, you think, you know, they look a machine, but as soon as you put the Irish up against them, the, the 10, 12 lengths better. So I can't back any of the English, to be honest, the, or the English and Welsh over here, the UK ones. It's just, they're just not for me. Um, I'm going to stick with Phil Dorr because I've followed him all season. I'm, I'm on at a decent price and I don't want to sort of neglect him now. You know, he was beaten fair and square last time out, but what I'm hoping is the extra furlong of the triumph because it's two mile one isn't it um i'm just hoping that a stronger pace with that extra mile davy on board that you know he, he might get a bit closer this time and i've got him each way anyway so uh extra you know, furlong get... not extra mile i hope extra furlong sorry yeah <laughs> <laughs> three mile yeah, triumph um, <laughs> <laughs> well, that, well when there's a five day festival we'll have a three mile triumph <laughs> so uh we he's don't still seven to one as well festival. <laughs> he's he's still a seven to one shot as well. I think that that's pretty much an each way to nothing because he he's not that far behind. Uh, so yeah, I, I'll go with Phil Dor for me. Okay, great stuff. Thanks, John. Ian, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do, you, do your thoughts? <laughs> yeah, just um, I might echo what what John said to be honest. Say about Phil Dor at a price at eleven to one and. I was, was very, very impressed at the beginning of the season and then see Vauban won at the Dublin Race Festival and beat Phil Dorr and Pipe Piper was very eye-catching at, at Cheltenham. But, see, it's Pipe Piper one, but it's, I think it'd be one of the Nichols ones, ECO and I think Silver Shade and that. Crap, to be honest. See, the, the English tribe hurdles are useless. But um, it, the Mullins horse, I was at Il Tem... Il, I can't even pronounce it. Il, 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 that's that's why I didn't mention Third. that. One. Yeah, it was at fifty to one at one price and got smashed in the betting. And for its first run, I thought it ran really well, and it's still sixteen to one. So twenty to one on three six five. Yeah. In each way to nothing. Um, and I wrote down here that I know some of the uh, in the past in previous years, like Burning Victory and. Pennant Hills, 
won on the <laughs> had one run and then went on to win. So we could even see something that's not even run yet. And I've noted that Nichols has got two in the race. They've not run yet. Two free. I know he likes a, a French horse, uh, Rue Band and Grief Tarn, and I think might potentially be worth a, a look at. But um, if you had to nail me down, I think I might have to agree with with John. I'll stick with Phil Dor. Hopefully, Roban and Pie Piper will peg it to the front, knock themselves out. Davy will pick up the pieces. Phil Dor. Phil Dor. Okay, Matty. Your thoughts, please. Not got a lot to say, to be honest, mate. It's not a race. I had Quillet Sauce last year because John lost to him, but it's wide open, isn't it? You know, Phil Dawes so, looked so progressive early on in the season. I think an overreaction pushing him out to seven to one. I think John's right. I think a really strong pace and that extra furlong will help him. Um, Pied Piper and Vauban both both improved from their debuts, aren't they? And the one that I was going to mention, Ian's already said, is Hill at Tom's at 20 to 1 with 365. Uh, finished five lengths behind Vauban on his debut at the Dublin Racing Festival. Um, held up in rear, headway two out, pushed along approaching lap, ridden and went third running, no match for the first two. Probably more of a schooling ride for his first time out, that knowing that more. And, um, so, yeah, I like Phil Dorr. Then earlier on, and I think the strong pace will suit. But at the moment, I've got no strong interest, mate. I might play Hill at eight times at 20s, hoping that he'll show a bit of improvement from that run. Okay, thanks, chaps. So, fair to say that the consensus would probably be field or at the current price is around seven to one. Nothing else too strong. Don't get me wrong. The way Vaughan, the way Vaughan won, and what Willie Mullins said afterwards, he doesn't really come out and is that bullish, is he? But he said it, it'll be a good one that's passed him in the line at Cheltenham. Right? Nine to four still available. Okay. We happy with that that, that, that then, chaps? Yeah. Come yeah. on, Dave. We'll do. Okay, well. So uh, yeah, that's say triumph for us. Um Phil Dorr, probably the selection at the moment across all three. Looking for some each way value, maybe closer to the time. Okay, keep watching, folks, and uh, we'll move on. Yeah.